And what's the albatross hanging over OpenAI's neck? To get an understanding of this, in 2015, this dream started as a nonprofit to actually be able to stand up for people, for humanity, and create an artificial general intelligence that was both competitive to Google and was available. And about a billion dollars was invested into it. But in 2019, they saw their transformer models were really starting to do something special. And that's when Microsoft came in with another billion and started seeing this as are we continue to be nonprofit? Because remember at this stage, that's about four years into the business, right where Fathom is now. There's no profitability and as a nonprofit, it sort of implied that they were more of a research arm, more of something good for humanity, which is one of the reasons Musk has tried to sue them and other people are sort of upset. How do you actually make that transition? Well, they've already done it with the loading of money, billions from Microsoft in the upcoming years. And as ChatGPT came out, you've all seen it. This is getting bigger and bigger, but the key is as Fathom grew, its model was based on $150 transcription cost going to nothing by AI. Very simple, right? Well, all the AGI companies see this huge training cost, almost all the investment goes towards the training costs and the heavily expensive engineering talent that's being incredibly competitively paid. So you got expensive engineers and an increase in compute costs that isn't going down. And you have people like Microsoft having to run electricity off of three mile nuclear plan. And you see like, that's a lot of difference. And we haven't even touched on what are they really gonna do with content? How are they gonna make this thing smarter? So if their investment strategy really is create this big moat of AGI, how possible is that when you have tens of billions invested in other companies like Anthropic, XAI, Meta's investments, Google's investments? Do you really think there's going to be one AGI to rule them all? Because that's what the gamble is. And is their technology so different and so proprietary? Because the data training is what matters so much, which ties into what synthetic data and the promise of that is to actually make this thing scale. Meta threw 15 billion at the metaverse for what? People without legs? Now they're throwing 15 billion at AI. And certainly each one of these companies is gonna make an inroad, but is all this AGI needed? And that's why this thing is so crazy. And so many have even talked about open AI going bankrupt. It's not impossible. They didn't get the 6 billion they just got. They were burning 5 billion. They'd have been out of business. Certainly there's enough money to go around and the bubble will last a little longer. This one's supported by crazy billions. But the key is, what are they really building? And do we really need seven different AGIs to change the way we live? And would that build the love that Richard White's Fathom gets from its customers? Or will it build a choice to go somewhere else? We'll have to see.